Hello, my name is Jenna Stauber and I'm here to tell you all about my startup business. Spirit Daisy Botanical Company is an online e-commerce boutique that specializes in the best organic skincare products on the market today. The current online retail market for organic skincare is very divided. Stores are either very small, they either offer a single brand, or they are mass retailers. The problem really is finding an online organic skincare retailer that carries all the organic skincare items one needs and that has good customer service to help educate the guest regarding why the item is organic and what makes it better than the ones that have chemicals in them. The Spirit Daisy Botanical Company will be an online retail store that carries all organic and all natural skincare. It brings together all the top organic skincare brands to one place. The assortment will include body lotion, body scrubs, facial moisturizers, facial scrubs, facial cleansers. We will also carry um, an assortment of perfumes and cosmetics, but at very limited capacity. Shown in the photos are several brands that the Spirit Daisy Botanical Company will carry. These include 100% Pure, Nourish Organics, Herbivore Nutrients, Tata Harper, Acure, and OC Malibu. The legal structure that I have chosen for my business is a limited liability company. The reason I chose an LLC is because of the limited personal liability that comes along with it, the tax advantages, ownership flexibility, the management flexibility, and to be able to establish and build business credit. So the intellectual property that I will be securing will be logos, photos, literary creations, branded products, artistic creations, and later on trademarks. The legal issues that are affecting the organic skincare industry is um, that they're, they're regulated by the FDA, but the problem is, is there's not really a legal definition for what organic means with the FDA. So the National Organic Program really has taken a hold and um, regulates and defines the term organic, which technically means um, it refers to a product derived from living, living organisms and untouched by any chemical compounds, fertilizers, or pesticides. Um, also in the cosmetic industry, the term organic means a brand or an ingredient that has been certified by one of the numerous certifying institutions that operate worldwide. Um, so in order for it to really be an organic product, it has to have a label and this label has to have a seal. And when you have that seal, that means 95% of the ingredients within the product is organic. Also, you'll see um, the label that says made with organic ingredients, and this requires that the product contain at least 70% organic products and or organic ingredients in the product. So as 
the organic business gets even more traction than they have now, you're going to see a lot more legal issues going in to um, products, you know, and ingredients being called organic because a lot of them actually aren't. They may be all natural, but it may not be, um, you know, grown with the the soil or, you know, things like that. So you're going to see a lot more, um, you know, laws and regulations going into the organic market. Target market. There are two different customer segments that make up the organic skincare business. Um, the first is going to be women that are younger millennials ages 22 to 28. These ladies are college educated with salaries that range between $35,000 and $65,000. They are very environmentally aware. They live in urban areas and to them and their friends, going green and clean is cool and they want to put the stamp that they are green and clean. They are very influenced by social media and the products that are put out on social media. The second customer segment is going to be women ages 44 to 50. These ladies are also college educated they are suburban, they keep up with their health, they are, you know, possibly the younger millennials' moms, and they're, you know, learning about a lot of these products from their younger millennial daughters. These ladies read reviews, and overall, they are concerned with the effects on their health of using chemical-laden products. Competition. There's a wide range of competitors from farmers markets, Etsy stores, and small local boutiques to mass retailers such as Target, Walmart, Ulta, and Sephora. Um, you know, all of these carry a wide range of different organic products, but really with the competitive advantage with Spirit Daisy Botanical Company, we're really trying to um, make a middle ground and bring a blend of both of my competitors into one online location and really being large enough to carry an assortment of the different brands and then being small enough to still give that excellent customer service. Marketing strategy. The primary marketing strategy going into Spirit Daisy Botanical Company will really be um, utilizing the official Spirit Daisy Botanical Company website, then social media marketing, email marketing, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, content marketing, SEO, Facebook events, and later on word of mouth advertising. The marketing budget is going to be 10% of the planned retail sales per month, and then the projected marketing cost per customer is going to be $4. Um, going into you know starting the business, we're really going to push the marketing strategy starting out on social media and really um, give everyone an introduction to you know what the Spirit Daisy Botanical Company is on you know Facebook and Instagram and then once we really get up and going um, we're really going to focus on email marketing so once we are able to collect more you know emails and customer information um, we'll really push the um, email marketing once you know that you know kind of takes hold then we're going to really start pushing content marketing and content marketing will be pushed on social media and also um, via email and then really what we're hoping you know once our customers are fully educated on what we are that word of mouth advertising will really take hold startup cost Spirit Daisy Botanical Company will be a self-funded company starting out with the goal of staying self-funded over time. Um, the actual startup costs come out to be $30,350. Um, the primary bulk of that startup cost is really going to go into your inventory cost or my inventory cost at $15,000. Um, that's um, with our budget, that's a three month turn to ensure that we'll be able to hit our projected sales. Then after that, our second largest 
area a startup cost is going to be our working capital. We need that money to be able to have that, you know, cushion if we need additional inventory or, you know, if something breaks or, you know, etc. that we have that cushion of cash. Then um, business equipment, um, very minimal, $500. Since it is an online business, we have very little overhead when it comes to things like that. Um, originally, I'll be working out of my home, so um, there's very little actual um, cost going into, you know, location. Um, mainly, the primary, you know, the primary startup cost will be our inventory. Financials. The break-even point is going to be four months. The product margin range will be between 51% to 70%. Um, with our financials, we had to keep in mind that all um, inventory will have to be paid up front. Once um, the relationships are established and um, we'll be able to get you know, a little bit better of um, net terms with suppliers, so not so much cash will have to be paid up front for that inventory. And also, um, you know, later on we'll be able to get better margins because we'll um, figure out what works for us, as in, you know, which product, and we'll be able to buy deeper into it. Um, cash reserves will also be needed for any merchandise um, additions or unplanned expenses, which we have budgeted into our um startup cost. Our yearly sales goal in retail dollars will be $150,000. Our projected inventory need will be $75,000. Our gross margin goal is going to be 62% and our projected break even point will be four months. Overall, I just want Spirit Daisy Botanical Company to be a pleasant place to shop and a way to make the world a little bit better of a place. Thank you all so much for taking the time to learn a little more about the Spirit Daisy Botanical Company.